the simplicity of having very few writers. Like, The Force Awakens was written by Michael Arndt, I believe is his name. He's a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. And then J.J. Abrams and uh, Lawrence Kasdan. Or was it the other way around? It may have been J.J. Abrams and Lawrence Kasdan and then Michael Arndt came along and okay. polished it all off. But that's minor. There are tons of movies that have, like, three writers or four writers and tons of uncredited writers. Yeah. Where that's been through draft after draft after draft after draft. To where it doesn't even, sometimes a lot, most of the time, doesn't even resemble the original idea. And anymore. sometimes that works. I, I there yeah. are movies it, that. Yeah, sometimes it works. Yeah, I mean, but most Ghost, of the time it doesn't. Going back to Ghostbusters, that original script was completely different. I mean, Ghostbusters were well established already. There were already like sections mm -hmm. of Ghostbusters like here and there. So like, Ghostbusters had already existed in the original script, and they were already very well known doing what they're doing, but. You know, based on the limitations of budgets and what they could get away with, <coughs> they had to scale it really back. And that's yeah. my main thing about movie making. It's and just a lot of things in general. When you have limitations, it forces you to be more creative. Yeah. And a problem with a lot of these movies now is that because of CGI and these ridiculously bloated budgets, they can do pretty much anything. And when you can do anything that doesn't work well in terms of creativity. It just and, means, yeah, You hey, lose creativity in the process. Yeah, it just means, like, oh, great, we can do that. Throw it in there, CGI right. it. The George Lucas way of making movies. Yeah, too. so that's where a lot of these movies have problems because just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Right. And when you have limitations, it forces you be, to be creative and work with what you have. And that, a lot of times, can give a movie its charm and... Mm -hmm. uh, character and could make it worth watching because even if something looks crappy on screen if you can tell like yeah they really did put work into it I can forgive it yeah like going to horror movies I can forgive a crappy dummy getting impaled or a plastic head getting cut off or something like that as opposed to like a obviously cartoony CGI yeah obviously CG Absolutely. blood and that opening scene and uh Pee-wee's Big Holiday with that mm -hmm. with the alien. Mm -hmm. It's it's obvious it's not a real alien. I know it's a puppet. It, the animat the animatronics are really choppy, but at least I bought it because yeah. it's there. The 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 uh, the lip sync is all off and it doesn't kind of no it really is, is off. It? Pay attention next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really off and but it doesn't matter. I I it, I was sold on it. Uh, the emotion of that scene. But that's the charm of Pee-wee. It's got a little bit of that yeah. camp factor and that's. Why? But I mean, they were going for a specific emotion in yeah. that scene, and if it had been a CGI mess, it would have been way more distracting. It would have been cheap. distracting, I mean, yeah. like the alien in Indiana Jones. Apparently, mm -hmm. there's a fourth Indiana Jones movie and it has an alien. That's oh horrible. really? That's what I heard. Oh, um, and it, I, apparently it has like a CGI alien. Maybe this was like a nightmare I had. Oh, huh. but you know, if you look at something like that compared to like the face melt melting scene in Raiders, mm -hmm. you can tell that there's a drastic difference in. You, you can really buy a face-melting scene in Raiders as opposed to a CGI alien giving the villain a stink eye. I that's if it. a fourth Indiana Jones movie exists. That's what I've heard. Yeah. But yeah, I have, I have the complete set on my shelf here, but I don't buy it. I don't, I don't see that fourth movie in there. <laughs> I just try to ignore it. <laughs> of course, it's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. We'll fix it in post. Yeah, you know? you know, don't even splatter real blood. Just CGI it and people will buy it. And it looks cheap and crappy. I miss the days where you had to achieve everything that yeah. day. Yeah. You know, and not later. And that just shows the work and care that goes into a movie. And I'm sure it's, yeah. it takes a lot of work to render this stuff in CGI and make it look realistic or as realistic as possible <laughs> but because we know it's not there you can't suspend your disbelief and buy it yeah as opposed to an animatronic or real fake you know gooey blood yeah i can buy that that's real because that's really happening on screen and that's just why i can't really get invested in a lot of these movies because it just looks so hokey and cheap and crappy mm -hmm. um the cgi is just not there like the whole batman and superman scene where they're fighting a lot of it looked terrible because it was cgi them fighting no that stuff didn't look terrible it was when they were fighting doomsday that's, that, that's when, what i was getting to yeah yeah that's the, when it got ridiculous. the batman versus superman stuff looked bad 
Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman fighting Doomsday looked worse. Like, a million times worse. And that's, that's what bothers me about CGI is, like, you know, some people just don't care. They don't care that it's CGI, and they don't care that it looks obviously looks like CGI. Mm-hmm. I do care because it, it, it takes me out of the moment. I'm like, it, oh, that's you know, it, we're from they're, a, they're, we're from a different generation. Yeah, where but we grew up with practical effects, and they obviously grew up with CG. And as weird as it sounds. CGI effects have been around a lot longer than we think it has. So. Oh, I, oh, I know it has. And that's a really weird thing to realize. Yeah. But... But at one time, CGI was just a tool in the toolbox. It wasn't mm-hmm. like, we'll do all of this this sequence in CGI. It's like, mm-hmm. we'll have some... We'll have all these practical effects, and then we'll add on to, like... A little bit with CGI. Yeah. That's like Titanic is the best example of that. I would say Jurassic Park is the best example. Well, of that. Jurassic Jurassic Park is like, well, we've got this one really large mechanical ty- Tyrannosaurus Rex, but mm-hmm. we also need a scene of him running, so we need to do a full CGI. But the thing with Jurassic Dinosaur Park for that, the thing with Jurassic Park is that because you have that nice mix of animatronics and CGI, your, your suspension of disbelief is it works more with that movie because the CGI is not overused in that movie. You need no. it in the shots where it's needed. Yeah. And you can buy it a little bit more. And for the most part, you're getting more animatronics than yeah. anything. And that's why you believe Jurassic Park as opposed to, say, something like Jurassic World. Because you have a lot more animatronic dinosaurs. And they look, for the most part, realistic because you know it's actually there. It's something you can touch. And yeah. It's something that's it's organic. Or, yeah, yeah, it feels organic and real. And, and when you see the CGI dinosaur in Jurassic Park, you know it's a CGI effect, but you can go with it a little bit more because it's not overdoing it. It's not overstaying the welcome. The shots aren't too long, so you're getting good glimpses enough of it to take it in, but it's not distracting. And yeah. then when you watch something like Jurassic World, where pretty much mostly everything is CGI. And it's focusing so much on that, you are paying more attention to, or at least I myself am paying more attention to, here's a CGI character and these, yeah. they're not really running from anything. Or yeah, that's really like when anything. Batman throws Superman through a wall, he suddenly turns into a, a cartoon. A cartoon. <laughs> a cartoon. You know, like it, it's, all, it's been gritty, gritty, gritty cartoon, yeah. then back to gritty. That's why I appreciate that scene where Batman's trying to save Martha Kent because he's fighting all these guys. And for the most part, a lot of it looks like it's choreographed and there's really some people there, but other times you can kind of tell where it's CGI and it looks really terrible, but there is kind of a nice mix of it where yeah. I'm really just more focused on the fight scene because like also, too, it, you can tell what's going on in it. Yeah, it's, like when he's fighting the guys and he puts one guy's face through the floor. Yeah. And the guy, uh, somebody down, I heard somebody go, oh! Yeah, like, you know, that was clearly a CGI shot, yeah. but it was effective because yeah. everything else looked so good yeah. that you go with it. And right. that's... I was surprised that that scene was a little more effective than I expected it to be. Right. Because I had heard yeah. about it. I didn't, I didn't see that trailer that features that scene. I wish it had all been one shot. It would have been way more effective because they kept making cuts. Well, you're you know? just, now you're just asking too much from me. I know. That really. I, I really am. Like but, I, but I'm like, okay, this is one of the best things in the movie. I'm glad that scene was as good as it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, glad, you know I'm glad it's there and everything. But if I had done it, I would have done it all in one shot. Yeah, it would but, have been way more impressive. But it would have been impressive, but we're giving the filmmakers of this movie too much credit to think that they could pull off something. Because they couldn't not, even pull off the I'm not giving, things here. I'm not giving them credit. Yeah, Zack so, Snyder makes visually interesting looking movies. For them, uh, when it, that, That's about it. Like, interesting visuals and things like that. Like, But I can't give him any kind of credit as far as story or anything else.